Hello and welcome to another parts factory installation video. Today we're going to be chucking in the power steering pump on any BA, BF or FG Falcon. That includes turbo, non-turbo models. The pumps are actually identical regardless of um, any type of variant you see. That is all the way from 2003 up until 2015. Now the job at hand is actually quite a straightforward job. Really the only tools that are actually required is a 10 mil socket on an extension. Um, I would say Phillips head screwdriver, 3 8 drive wrench, hopefully about that long and that deep to um, pull off the tensioner. Um, I think it's a 17 or an 18 mil uh, open end spanner and maybe an 8 mil socket. The job that we're doing today will probably take about 25 to 30 minutes. Right, today I will be working on a uh, turbocharged BF Ford Falcon. As you can see that just because the turbo is bolted on the top doesn't mean that the power steering pump's actually changed. The barrel motor does share its pump through all the different vari variants and variables. Um, now guys, there is only three 10 mil bolts that you access through the bolt holes of the pump itself. You got one, two and three down the bottom. Now. I'm thinking it would probably be easier if uh, you guys were to actually pull the fans out. You can see the fans are mounted here. The only thing that stops them from being pulled out is actually this uh, ram air snorkel. First things first, I'm going to remove this front ram snorkel. There should be two Phillips head screws. Now the snorkels. Once you've got those two, they should just pull up and pop off. But see that? It's just a rubber seal. Just kind of pops off like that. You better chuck it up the back. Remove this pipe out of the way. Even if you just want to tuck it into there like that. Try not to pull on that, you'll break that bottle. Now these fans are held in by two 10 mil bolts. One here. Chuck your bolts on the top of the motor. Unplug the plug. There's a wiring loom there. And that bolt was actually already undone. So I should now be able to simply lift these fans straight through the top. Chuck them out of the way. Well, you can see now that we've pulled those fans, you actually get quite a significant amount of space. And it's not exactly 100% necessary to always do that, but it just allows for such more, uh, such greater access. I feel like it'll make the job much easier for everyone. You can see that this fan belt actually still has a, quite a lot of tension on it, unless of course you've um, suffered pulley failure, but to, in order to release that sort of pressure, uh, there is a special pulley that I'm gonna show you. It's located right here in the front of the engine. You can see down in there, all you actually need is a 3.8 drive wrench should be able to access that area, slot your 3.8, well, when you've got a hand, spare hand, but slot your 3.8 drive into that zone. See how when I pull this direction, that, tent, that fan belt goes loose temporarily? Well, that's what we're aiming for. So you should be able to push that bar that direction, and lift this fan belt off that pulley. Paying close attention not to actually lose the position of the belt, you don't want to have to reset up this area. Apply the tension back to that pulley. And you're actually welcome to leave your bar there just for temporarily. Next, next step here guys is to actually release this high pressure power steering line here. Now it's a 17 or an 18 mil bolt. Turn it uh, counterclockwise, trying not to um, snap anything in your path. I'm going to go grab my spanners and demonstrate how this is done. First of all, I'm going to actually chuck a rag in underneath this unit to minimize the oil spreading everywhere. Now, it is up to you whether or not you would like to siphon this pump out. Take the cap off. Remove your flap. Put these pieces out of the way. And you can actually put a siphoning mechanism in there and pull that oil out. Now, step one grab your 17 millimeter spanner 
head in underneath this area here. And you want to turn, pull this, find a position where the wrench sits on securely. And you want to pull the wrench towards the battery. There you go there. What we're going to do is before we undo that bolt, we're going to undo the pump off the unit first. In order to do that, we will need a wrench with a 10 mil. Straight through the pulley holes, you'll see three bolts. That's one. Someone's actually used Loctite on my bolts. Once you get to the end, try and just use your socket so that you can maneuver the bolt through the hole without dropping it. Like so. Get your bolt out of the way. And for the next one. Once you've undone the high pressure line, you'll be able to then access the small 7 or 8 mil bolt on the back of the power steering pump. Loosen that feed up. Doing the rest by hand. So I wanted to give you a quick look at the difference between the two items. We'll just remove it from its packaging. So here are the two units next to each other. And you can see that the reservoirs are the same. This, this unit actually comes with a metal pulley. That's to help with the rigidity and durability of the pulley for years to come. Put this unit over as well. looks great. Right, so we're going to be chucking the pump back on the car, but I'm not going to be using my new one, as there was actually nothing wrong with that other one. Now we will be releasing another video shortly that talks about the O-ring on these high pressure lines. If you're having an issue with your power steering pump leaking, then the likelihood that it's that O-ring, if it's a BA or BF, is high. Okay, it's time to reassemble our power steering pump setup. First things first is to align this pipe here with that pipe there. Should be able to just press in and slide on nice and gently. Making sure you don't break the end of that um, pump section off when you're, when you're installing that piece. It's very delicate. While we're here, we might as well tighten up that screw. Tight enough to hold the pipe on, but not so tight you break the hose clamp applying it. Next step is to reapply your high pressure power steering line. Now it tucks in underneath the pump. You must thread in straight. It's easier if you leave the pump disattached. You head in and you can kind of see the thread in there. Using your 17mm spanner, make sure it's going in straight and nice. Plenty tight. Okay. Now you've got your two pipes back on. Time to put your power steering pump back in position. Pump should be straight. 
See it slides in there nice. Start with your bottom bolt. Lining up your pulley with where the bolt goes in. Use your finger to guide the bolt into the hole. Wobble the pump around until you feel it slide in with ease. Right, the bottom bolt's actually being a bit of a pain in the ass, so I ran and grabbed the special tool to see if I can. Yes. Recommend a decent ratchet to get that back bolt on. Now, the next step is to actually put the fan belt back on. As you can see, the fan belt's actually still sitting there in position, so all we need to do is pull on this bar and chuck that belt back on the top. All done. Next step is to put back in your thermo fans. Place your thermo fans back in gently. induction snorkel plugs in line up the two Phillips heads one and two don't forget to plug your thermo fans in now the last step guys is to fill your power steering pump back up with some power steering fluid. Try and fill it up before you start it. Alrighty guys, my motor doesn't run so I won't be able to start and prime the power steering fluid system. But there are plenty of other videos online that demonstrate the procedures to do such a thing. Finish. Give your area a wipe down, pull your pipe down, tuck it back in underneath your thermo fan, all the way along. You can see that it tucks in under there like that, secure. Wipe down your area. Guys, thanks for checking out another parts factory installation video. Today we've chucked on the BA Falcon, which is an also includes the BF and FG power steering pump. It took me roughly half an hour to 45 minutes. There was a few little snags you run into, for example using an electronic power tool to get that bottom bolt in. You could do it with some assistance, but for me I found it easier to line it up with one arm and put it in with the other. Other than that, maybe you could, it's probably a better idea to use a sucker to remove the power steering fluid from the reservoir, make your life a lot cleaner and easier. Now if you are interested in this part, we are selling it online at $183.30. It's a brand new part, it comes with a three year warranty and it's a guaranteed high performance metal pulley design. Allows for you to always feel as if you have a reliable pump operating the steering system. Now as I said previously, it does fit all models between 2003 and 2015, six cylinder only of course. Now if you have any other questions or concerns, you're always welcome to travel onto our website at www.partsfactoryoz.com.au. I am on live chat, always, up until about 10 o'clock at night. You're welcome to come and chat to me about any of our videos, products, uh, ideas, problems you're facing with your car, and so on. Now, you're welcome to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, or any form of social media that you find us on. And hang on, that's a live chat just then. Better get to it. I'll catch you next time, guys. See you later.